This is a quick tip on how to make vibration isolation mounts. I've tested all sorts of materials and the best by far is the use of large bore silicon tube. You can find it on eBay, it's called silicon vacuum hose or silicon rubber pipe and by using the right diameter and the right wall thickness you can get just the right properties for the weight that needs supporting. I use 16 millimeters internal diameter and 22 millimeters outside diameter, which gives a wall thickness of three millimeters. So a short piece of this tube makes the mount, and with a couple of bolts pushed through, it can be easily uh, anchored to the frame of your multi-rotor. You need to cut this tube with a sharp knife. It needs to be a very uh, slim blade. The only problem is it tends to crush as you cut it and you end up with a, a horrible uh, cut. So a way to avoid that is to use a short piece of plastic pipe. The amounts I use are about 10 millimeters wide, so push the tube through so that it's about 10 millimeters protruding. <clears throat> it will cut quite well like that, but if you use a wooden dowel in the center as well, then it supports it even better. This dowel is a little bit um, small in diameter, so I've just wrapped a bit of tape around just to give it a bit of extra support. So just back it off so it's out the way. When you've got about halfway through, you need to turn the tube a little bit, and that way you don't deform the bottom half of the uh, the cut. And there we go. There's one piece of tube cut. So the next stage is to put the bolts through. <clears throat> and to do that, you use a sharp pointed tool. could use a piece of wire or a slim nail. Find the center and push it through. And then push it through the other way. just so that piece of wire is just coming through and it's flush again. Now I need to take a couple of M2 bolts and a couple of washers. You need a slim pair of pliers. You grab the thread, and then the aim is to push the wire back through again. So line it all up and push it just so that the wire comes out and the bolt goes through. And there's one bolt in place. The second one, just line it up so that it's uh, it's in line. Make sure you're in right in the center of the tubing. Push the wire through again. Again, just so that it's flush. Take the second bolt. and just push that wire out again. So 
So there's one mount ready for use.